Hi guys and welcome back to The Real High Gobble Panda, or if you're new to the channel, then welcome, grab a drink and sit back and relax because we are going to be talking about some awesome stuff. So I haven't been uploading Avi Life videos for the last few days because there just hasn't been that much information and I'm not going to start making videos covering things that could wait until there's a lot more information to cover in one video. I don't want to spam the channel with useless videos, I'd rather make a good video with lots of information. So here I am today making a video because I've got a substantial amount of information that I can share with you guys. So I'm going to be talking about some of the tiller clothes that they've put in their discord on the work in progress section and I am also going to be talking about something really special for all you PlayStation home lovers out there because I've got permission from the developers to show you something really cool. And before I get into this video, I would like to say a big thank you to all the people that have watched the videos for the past few weeks and give us some good support on our channel. It's really lovely when we make a video and a lot of people enjoy it and actually thank us for making the content. It seems worthwhile when someone can send us a message and just say thank you for that video, it was really cool. And I do appreciate everyone that watches our video. So, again, thank you for watching the video. If you're watching now, you are an actual legend. So there you go. So the first portion of this video, I would like to cover the new pictures that Tiller has put into the Discord chat from their work in progress section and just show you some of the content that they have been making. It's only a few pictures, but it's still something worth talking about. So the first piece of content that I would like to talk about are these new masks. Now these look like the Viva Vendetta masks that people call the Guy Fawkes mask and they do look pretty cool. These ones do come with a glow function I believe. Uh, you can change the colour of the glow so if you want it to be pink or blue or something. I do believe that they are customisable. I'm not sure if these masks were on PlayStation Home but I know they are a popular kind of thing and I do think they would go down really well on Avi Life. But the addition of these masks would be awesome. I would like it if there was one in the original colour from the Viva Vendetta, the anonymous mask as they are called, but I don't know how the copyright would work with that. But the fact that you can add customizations to these masks is just to show you that these people are here to make a game that we can truly be ourselves and create something awesome and like be at home with our avatars. And I'll talk about some more things in a minute about customizations with Tiller's t-shirt selection. The next thing we've got to talk about are these slippers slash sandals. I don't really know what they're called, but they look okay. Personally, I won't wear these kinds of shoes because I'm just not into them. But if you're into these kinds of shoes slash slippers, they look cool. It's nice to see that the developers are making a wide range of clothing, unlike say nebula realms that only has clothing to suit a certain style you know it's just rehashes of the same clothes you know at least tiller is making clothes that are going to be a, a big variety is what i'm trying to say it's always nice to see games where they make a wide variety of clothes so there's something for everyone and the next item i would like to talk about is the tiller clothes uh the t-shirts i mean uh i think these t-shirts are really awesome the designs are so cool i would wear these no problem they look absolutely fantastic and i do believe the white one at the top is customizable you can change the color of it not too sure about the customization of the ones that have the patterns on i don't think they're customizable but you know the fact that there's a white customizable t-shirt anyway is good because it adds that extra bit of variety that you don't get on games like nebula realms or atom universe and I'd just like to say that Tiller are doing an absolute fantastic job of making these clothes. I do believe that they were originally from Second Life, which is another virtual game on PC. But they've came to Abbey Life to make some clothes and they look freaking cool. So keep up the good work, uh, Tiller, because you're doing absolutely fantastic. And I would like to ask the people that are watching this video, if you could kindly go over to the PlayStation 4 community and just go and give them, uh, just join their community and give them a message and say, yo, you're doing a great job. I need to show these uh, developers some love and let them know that what they're doing is good so they can carry on with their work you know what i mean and feel happy about themselves i'm not sure if i'm really uh, getting my words out properly here but you know what i mean just go over there and give them a big fat like and join their community and say yo keep up the good work buddy so that's the end of the tiller portion of the video thank you again tiller for making these awesome clothes now I would like to talk about some uh, questions that people do ask in these communities and 
I kind of have the answer to some of these questions and just a little bit of information for you guys before I get into the big article of this video that I'm really excited to show you guys. So one thing that I do hear a lot of people asking is when are we going to be able to play the game? So the beta is going to come out in the beginning of uh, 2019 as well as the Kickstarter. So that's something to look forward to, I guess. Uh, I thought it was going to be the end of 2018, but I was mistaken. And I do apologize for giving out false information in my first video. But it's been talked about in the Discord chat uh, that the game will be uh, playable in a demo in the early uh, 2019, as well as the Kickstarter. So, you know, not that long to wait. It's almost the end of 2018, you know. It's already November, so not that long left. Another thing I would like to talk about is the um, the voice chat inside the game. Now, uh, the guy that's making Avery Life was talking about having um, microphones in open lobbies. Now, that would be something really cool. If you ever saw videos of the old PlayStation Home Beta, you would know that there were open mics in there. Now, that means that you can talk on your mic freely in a lobby and people would be able to hear you if they're, in a, within, if they're within a certain proximity. That's going to be cool for a game like Abbey Life, um, because it just adds a bit of life to the lobby, you know what I mean? You're not just typing with words, you're actually communicating with voice mics. It's always nice to go into a server and hear other people talking, because it immerses you into the game so much more than when you're typing your messages in the text chat. Another game that has this kind of thing is a game called Rec Room. If you've got a VR headset, you might have played Rec Room, and that is really awesome. Rec Room is a game where you can go into, like, the uh, the fun room where everyone's playing frisbee and stuff, and they're just talking on their mics. And it's really immersive. Also, the Battle Royale mode that they've got is absolutely awesome. Like, you know, you're playing Battle Royale and you can use your walkie-talkie to communicate to your teammates. And that's really cool. So it's not 100% set in stone, but it is something that they're thinking about doing, and I think it's a really good idea. Leave a comment down below if you think that that's a good idea and your thoughts on the video so far. One more thing I would just like to add to the video is that the fox in the image behind in the background is confirmed to be a pet. Just like the companions you can get on uh, Nebula Realms and the companions that you used to have on PlayStation Home. So the fact that you can have pets is pretty cool. Also, the fairy in the background is confirmed to be an avatar of an actual player and not a companion like the fox. So, confirmed uh, companion animals and the fairy is also a uh, playable um, avatar design. And last but not least, we finally have the last portion of the video with the piece of information I've been waiting to show you the most. So, an interesting thing happened the other day. Um, a new developer joined the team for Avi Life, and he is an ex-PlayStation Home developer. But I say it's a funny thing because he actually watched one of my Avi Life videos and joined the Discord, and Brink and this guy know each other. This guy's now joined a team, so congratulations to him for getting a job. And uh, they're going to bring us this. This is a brand new render of the Harbour Studio, and this is what is coming to Avi Life. Hopefully when the demo drops, I'm not sure if uh, that's confirmed or not, but this looks freaking cool. It's so nice to have a proper version of the Harbour Studio because the one that was made for Nebula Realms just doesn't do it. It's weird, it's out of shape. When you go there, the graphics look so grainy and harsh, like you, it just doesn't look that good. But I know that the development team working on Avi Life are going to do a good job of this Harbour Studio. And once again, I would just like to say to the new developer that has joined, good luck in your job on Avi Life. I know you're going to make a great game, as well as Brink and as well as Tiller. You guys are going to do an awesome job. And I'm going to close this video out by saying a massive good luck to all of you guys. So you're up to date with the latest content from Avi Life. If you liked the video, please leave a like. And don't forget to comment down below what you thought of this video. Please, any uh, feedback would be appreciated so I know how to make my videos better for you guys to be more enjoyable. You've been watching The Real Huggable Panda. And hopefully I will see you in the next video. Peace.